Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, give you a little bit of an update here. We are up underneath the Project Black Hole on a little bit of a sad day. Not even sure what is happening yet because we're obviously going to have to take all of this off. But I'm going to try to get this camera up in there so that we can create a baseline for what's going to be a future teardown video. Obviously, this is uh, this is gonna the head's gonna have to come off here. So that looks like it's coming over the top of the gasket there. So let's go up top and see what we can see. Because we've got fairly good stream coming down here. I don't see any other leaking places, but I noticed this when I was, uh, I just finished doing the heater core, and it's kind of a sad day, but finished the heater core, started it up, looked underneath for leaks, and I thought maybe I just didn't get something tightened down, and lo and behold, it was, uh, a little bit worse than that. All right, I'm gonna stick it on pause for a second. Let's go topside. Okay, here we're topside. Now we can see the, yeah, we can see it pretty clearly there. Gonna put some pressure in the radiator. Okay, well, that's our baseline. That's between the number four and five cylinder right there. And uh, I wish we could get a really crisp view on there, but it seems to be, seems to be wet right there in between that that hold down is and that's just the normal for me pulling the injector lines all right well there it is all right everybody so this is the black hole saga with the leaking head gasket continued so the first part of the video there, you saw it streaming down the side of the block. This obviously looks fantastic because it just came out of the machine shop. It's all, it's been decked and it's ready to go back on. What we found when we pulled this part was a little leak between the this is the number five cylinder here. So we found just a little bit of pitting in between the water jackets on number five and the block. So it was right across here and there was just a little bit and what was happening, happening is it would go through the water jacket and it was escaping out around the head gasket and then it was trickling down the side of the block. So of course, to fix it, we sent it off to the machine shop they only had to take about four thousands off of it and we've cleaned everything up and it's getting ready to go back on. I'm going to flip over, I'm going to pause here for a second and take us over to the engine block. Alright, so here we are over at the engine block and we've cleaned it up as best as we can. Um, we use some red Scotch-Brite and a lot of scrubbing. So there's the number five cylinder and it was right there, but on the cylinder head side. So the block side was not where it was leaking. It was just on the cylinder head side. So we obviously, there's the compounds. We had to pull everything apart and it took it a while for us to get it back from the machine shop, but we're getting ready to put her back together. We'll give you a little bit more once we get the cylinder head set down on here. So I've shown you the head and then I've shown you the block 
and now I wanted to show you the head gasket. This is number five cylinder and there's number six. And what happened, and, and I've talked to a lot of machinists and a lot of, you know, big diesel guys. And so far, no real answers as to what caused this. Um, it just ate the material out. This is the head side of the gasket. Um, so on the head side of the gasket, it just ate the material out. It ran right along the fire ring there. And it just kept eating until it got up here to the edge of the, uh, the head gasket there. And that's where, in the beginning of this video, that's where you saw it leaking out was just right here. Is just dribbling over the side. Definitely a bummer because all of these fire rings were in good shape. They were holding about 65 PSI with no issues. It doesn't look like the head was lifting at all. Everything looked great. And um, it was just that one little coolant leak right there. Obviously, it's been going on for quite a while. The only thing I can come up with is just you know, maybe an issue with the actual head gasket itself where it wasn't adhered well or something and allowed it, the water to get underneath the gasket and then erode it out. That's still a long shot, but it's the best I've got. If you've got suggestions, put them in the comments below. Maybe it'll help somebody else who's going through this. Anyway, so that's the last little bit of the teardown and analysis of it. Now she is going back together.